Hey guys, it's Jen from Something Turquoise bringing you a live, in-depth computer screen demo of exactly how to use our custom Hershey Kiss sticker files. Me and my internet bestie, Jessica from the Budget Savvy Bride, partnered together to bring you today's adorable DIY. I made the tutorial and she designed the files that you can download for free from her website. We have Bridal Shower, Engagement Party, Bachelorette, and a secret surprise at the end. For our YouTube viewers, I've added all of our links in the comments below. So let's get started. You'll visit Cricut.com and log into your design space, and then you're going to upload images. I've actually already uploaded the four files that we've created, So, but what you would do is upload image, browse, and upload the image that you download from the Budget Savvy Bride. So I'm going to click and I'm going to choose the engagement file. So here are our stickers. What we're using today is the print and cut feature with the Cricut Explorer, where you actually print this file first using your home printer, and it's all done through the um, design space, and then you feed it into your Explorer, and it cuts everything out for you. It's absolutely amazing. So, um, for the engagement one, we did, you know, a couple stickers, a couple fun sayings. She said yes, kiss me, Mr. and Mrs. We've created a diamond ring cut out, a heart cut out, and two blank circles. And what the blank circles are for is for you to add your own custom design. So I'm going to click around and show you a couple um, of the tips first. And then um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the, the design that we created. So each and every file, as you can see over here, is completely separate. So if you're not having a turquoise and navy blue engagement party, you can customize this color, the color of the stickers, to match any color you want by simply choosing that. Okay? So if you didn't want, if you wanted a white sticker and you wanted the words to be purple, you can do that too. Literally, these files that we've created are, are, un, there are unlimited ways that you get to personalize them. If you don't like she said yes, turn it off. It's that simple by checking this little box right here. So we're going to turn that back on because we want that. And I actually want to make these, I'm going to do lavender and then I'm going to turn this back to white. Okay. So if you want to change all of these stickers to lavender or whatever color you want to change them to, you just click the individual sticker and then double click on the color. If you have a hex code, like my favorite hex code for my turquoise, um, you can add that hex code here and it will make you a custom color and you don't have to stick to the basic colors that Cricut provides here. So, okay, so what's another pretty color that goes with lavender? What about peach? So we're gonna make these all peach. So as you can see, you can just keep, you know, changing the color, any custom color that you want. And then, okay, so I like the lavender, the peach, and the turquoise. That looks good to me. So the file here with the diamond ring, we've actually created it so that you can color the band, whatever color you want, and you can color the diamond color, any color you want. So let's color the diamond. Um, peach and we'll leave the turquoise ring. Double click. Like I said, this these files that we've created are like unlimited in the ways that you can personalize them. Okay, so I like this turquoise, so then I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to make these all lavender. Okay, and if you're staring at this thinking, why are there two blank circles? It's because this is where you get to add your custom text. So, how you do that is, click over here and you add text. And then I think I'm going to write M plus J, which is me and my husband. Okay, I don't like this little font right here. So I'm going to click over here to edit. I'm going to choose the font that I like, which is uh, either your Cricut fonts or any fonts that are on your computer. And I think I'm going to go with Mench because that's one of my favorites. 
and it's going to click it's going to use a predetermined color for you mine is obviously turquoise i'm going to go white and then i'm going to click this print that means that it's going to print okay so i'm going to resize and pull it right over here now instead of doing that like five times i'm just going to copy and paste There we go. Okay, now I'm going to paste again, and instead, this time, instead of our initials, I'm going to add our date, which was November 11th. And I want this centered, so I'm going to go center, and then I'm going to hover it over here. It's a little bit big, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. And I know this looks like teeny, teeny, tiny, but the font point is actually 14, so that's, it's actually not that small. I can make it, I think I can make it a little bit larger so that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, copy, paste. We're going to do that for all of them. So any kind of event, whatever you're, you know, if you're having your engagement party, your bridal shower, your bachelorette party, whatever it is that you're having, there's two free spaces here for you to um, add any copy that you want to add to it. Oh, come on, little thing. There we go. Paste. and paste again. Okay, so now we have our file and it looks great. So we're ready to cut. So what we're gonna do to make this a print and cut file is we're gonna highlight and select everything and then we're gonna go flatten. Now you can see all the layers disappeared and it changed to this print feature right here. So if I click go, it's going to take me to the mat. So it knows I'm cutting 8.5 by 11 because obviously that's my printer size. You can also see that there was a bleed added here. If you don't want the bleed, you can uncheck this mark and then it goes back to the regular sticker. I left the bleed on because what that does is make sure that even if the Cricut is a hair off when it cuts around, your the color of the sticker is going to go right to the edge. It's It works perfectly. So. So what's gonna happen from here is when I click go, which I'm not gonna do it for the video because it won't make sense, but once I click go, um, or maybe I can't cut, print, click go, I'll print the page. When I hit print, it tells my home printer to print. So I put the sticker paper in the printer, I print it out. Once it's done printing out, I put the paper on top of my Cricut mat just like it looks like here. After it's printed, the software knows that it's printed, and then all of a sudden, once you insert it into your machine, your little Cricut flash, um, your little Cricut light will flash. And when you hit um, go, what happens is the machine uh, registers over these little marks here and makes sure where those little black marks are, and that actually tells the Cricut where to cut on this print file because what if you put it off just a little bit or whatever. These are just little registration marks. So it has a little light and it clicks, it, you know, goes, it reads across it. It's really funny. And then all of a sudden it will cut out your beautiful stickers. So let me show you a couple of the other files. We have the bride to be and I've added initials here. Then we have bachelorette party, how adorable, martinis and lips. Same thing, just added the colors here or the um, text there, and then we have Christmas. So I fell in love with these designs so much that I asked Jess to make the Christmas ones just for me, and since she made them, we figured we should share them with you. So um, another little uh, tip is if you want to use some of the items that we've created, and not all of them, you can go upload image. So let's say you want to click on two. So you're having um, your bridal shower. Um, and you want to use only, you don't want to use any text, 
you only want to use the cut files that these actually cut out so you see the foil of the Hershey Kiss through it. So what you're going to do is select and you're going to do ungroup, which means it makes everything individual. So I can actually select all of these, delete them, select all of these, delete them. Then I have to do the same thing here, ungroup, select all of these, delete them, select all of these, delete them. Now I'm left with just the cut files. So if I want to duplicate this, I can just go copy, paste. Now I have more cut stickers for my party. And to make it match, I can just um, click on the lips here, choose the pink instead, or the lavender, or whatever color I want to choose. I can make these all lavender if I want. And now I have some matching stickers to cut out. There's actually one more row of stickers. You can fit seven rows. So if you want, you can just take this, copy, paste. There we go. Again, you can add text. You can change the colors, do whatever you want. Now you highlight everything, flatten. It makes it that one layer file, go. And it's going to print first. Again, you can see the bleed. There's the beautiful stickers. There's the bleed. Print. Put it on top of your mat and cut. And it's wonderful. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. And I hope that this uh, gave you a further look into how easy it is to absolutely customize every aspect of these adorable stickers. Perfect for your party. Happy crafting.